The Mosio Tunya is here. Yes, it is, but not the Mosio Tunya that we have always known, the Vic Falls. This is the name of the new gold coin that Zimbabwe has just introduced onto the market. What does this whole gold coin business mean? Why do we need the Mosio Tunya gold coin? How much is it worth? Who can buy it? Where can we buy it? There has been a lot of talk about this gold coin and naturally a lot of questions too. We even saw one guy displaying what he said were the new gold coins. It turned out these were just one of those chocolates in gold wrapping that we've seen in children corner shops. All this shows is that there's a lot of genuine interest out there in the gold coin but admittedly there's also a lot of confusion about the coins as well. So let's break it down real quick so that we can get to the nuts and the bolts of the gold coin. The State of the Nation. This is what we know. We are told that the gold in each coin in the initial batch will weigh one troy ounce. That's just about 31 grams of pure gold. It has 22 carats. Carats measure the purity of gold. Each coin will have a unique serial number. This is for security to make sure that nobody forges fake coins. What will happen when you buy the coin? Will you get to take it home? The answer is yes. Buyers of the coins will get physical possession of their coins. As a buyer, you will also get a certificate that confirms that you are the legal owner of the coin. This is very important because once you buy it, you can do with it as you wish. In other markets where these coins have been issued, you can ask a bank to keep them for you for a safe custody fee. We also know that the coin has liquid asset status. What does this mean? It means you can convert it to cash if you want, so you can sell it back to the bank or to Fidelity printers. It can also be bought and sold on the local market and internationally. You can even use it as collateral for loans or other transactions. It has also prescribed asset status. Here is what that means. Big institutions like pension funds are required by the law to put some of their money into investments that have been approved by the government. This is to make sure that investments are not concentrated in very few areas. So, because this gold coin has this prescribed asset status, it means some of our pension funds and insurance companies can now buy these coins as an investment in their portfolios collateral. Yes, you can also use the coin as security for loans and any other credit facilities. Where can you buy this coin anyway? It will be sold by the RBZ itself, by Fidelity Gold Refinery, and most importantly, your own local bank. So just how much will these coins cost? This is what the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe says. The gold coins will be available for sale to the public from the 25th of July 2022 in both local currency and United States dollars at a price based on the prevailing international price of gold and the cost of production. What does this mean? We already said a coin will weigh about an ounce. An ounce of gold is currently trading around 1,800 US dollars, but the coin will cost a little more than that. You will need to add a bit more for the cost of producing the coin. There is a small premium. This is the same everywhere. Yes, we are not inventing the wheel here. Coins are already a thing in many parts of the world. Here is a bit of history. In 1970, South Africa introduced the Krugerrand. Since then, other countries have introduced their own gold coins. South Africa has the Krugerrand, Australia has the Kangaroo Gold Coin, the US has the Eagle Coin, the UK has the Britannia Coin. Every day, millions of gold coins are traded around the world. Since the Krugerrand came out on the market, over 250 million coins have been traded all around the globe. Now, why has the RBZ introduced this gold coin in the first place? One of the biggest roles of any central bank is to make sure that there are different ways in which people in an economy can safely invest their money. Where people do not have enough assets to invest in, they are tempted to use their money for speculative purposes which may hurt the economy. So central banks will from time to time introduce new asset classes for people to invest in. This is in addition to what we already have such as the stock market, money market instruments such as treasury bills and many others. This gold coin 
is just one of a number of new assets that you can now invest in. Years ago, it was illegal for people like you and me to be in possession of gold. This has now completely changed. The gold coins have now enabled ordinary Zimbabweans to own a piece of the wealth that the country possesses legally. This is a great new development. So we will have a lot of gold being produced locally, also finding a market within Zimbabwe. This is a good thing. Initially, we will have the one ounce coins, but we are told that a plan is already in place for the coins to be made widely available in smaller standard denominations starting with one tenth of an ounce, one quarter of an ounce and half an ounce. The gold coin is a chance for you to invest in gold directly as a Zimbabwean. And what about if we also had the opportunity to invest in other minerals such as silver? Let us know what you think. Like, share, comment and subscribe.